Hey, what's up there, YouTubers? It's me again, Brian, aka Gamer55551. And I am back with a video review. For this review, I'm going to be taking a look at Nier Automata, the end of Johan edition, if I'm saying the name correctly, the Nintendo Switch port of the 2007 17s of Nier Automata that was originally released on the PS4, fo followed by a port over to Steam and, you know, the original Xbox and all. And if you're interested in any gameplay footage, I'll have a link down in the description down below, or you click on the card that will appear up on this video. In 2017, Square Enix, along with Platinum, released um, Nier Automata. Now, the Nier series hasn't been as recognized or well known, to be exact, though. It started off as sort of a spin off to, I think, a series that um, Square Enix were talking called Dragon Guard or something like that. Apologize if I'm not saying the name correctly. That started on during the um, PS2 eras and all, and that spawned into the Nier series that was released back in, I believe, 2010 on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, though. Now, them doing a sequel was kind of interesting because this was a very interesting um, thing about that. It's because Platinum was at a very rough spot at that moment, and there was concerns that the company was going to go out of business, but... Thanks to Nier Automata, though, that game kind of helped Platinum in a way to be exact. And the game actually did very well, so much, though, that we got a remastered or a remake of a prequel, which was, or based off the Japanese version, called Nier um, Replica, that was released in 2021 to the um, PS4 and the Xbox One, which could be played on the Xbox Series S and the PlayStation 5. So it was kind of interesting to hear um, this year that when it was announced that Nier Automata End of Johan Edition was coming to the Nintendo Switch. This was interesting because there have been people who have asked for the Nier Automata series to come or the game to come to the Nintendo Switch. And at the time, Platinum's response was, you got to ask Square Enix and all that stuff. And it was also interesting when we when the game was announced to hear that Virtuos, the studio that has handled Switch ports before, like the Outer Worlds, to um, Bioshock, to Bioshock Collection, to XCOM, um, to other titles as well, that they would be handling the port, ha port job though. Well, after spending some time um, with the game and everything like that, I can honestly say though that as far as a Switch port goes, I'm very happy to see what Virtuos who handled the, the Switch port of Nier Automata. Now that doesn't mean that it's 100% perfect and it's obviously clear compromises were made to make this game run though, but in either case, I'm very pleased with what I saw in regards to the Switch version though. So why don't we get started with the um, pros and cons though, and we'll start off first with the pro, and that is that the gameplay in the game um, still holds up um, very well, um, even till this day and all. And basically when you see the gameplay, it's just, fits um, perfectly though. It still maintains that platinum feel to it, you know, that over the top, somewhat over the top action to be exact though. Um, it still runs well, even at 30 frames um, per second though, the game still is able to run pretty well on the um, Nintendo Switch. So in terms of gameplay, it's, you know, like an action RPG and all, but it still basically um, looks, um, still plays very well, just like it did when it came out back in uh, 2017. The next thing we want to talk about is the music and the voice, and that is probably one of the highlights of the game, though. The music, the the mood to, it sets the mood to the game um, very good and all that. I really do enjoy the music, and the voice acting um, is done very well in the game, including hearing some of the robots speak in, in the game and all that stuff. So it definitely is done really well in the game. That still basically holds up. And last but not least, the fact that they got this game running on the Nintendo Switch is um, pretty impressive and all. I mean, I never, this is another example of an impossible Switch um, coming, possible game coming to the Nintendo Switch along with the lines of games like the Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, to Doom and Doom Eternal, and Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, and also to see to get this game running on the Nintendo Switch and seeing the developers in a way kind of pull it off is um, definitely um, impressive. And I'm glad that they managed, I'm glad that the development team or the port house, Virtuos, was able to port, bring this game over to the um, Nintendo Switch and all. <clears throat> 
Okay, I'm going to take a quick break. When we get back, we'll get to part two, which is a con. So we'll take a little break and we will be right back. Okay, and we are back with part two of my video review of Nier Automata, the end of Johan edition for the Nintendo Switch. As some of you are aware, Nier Automata is also available on the PS4, um, Xbox One. It can also be played on, I believe, the Xbox Series S and X and the PS5, and of course, PC VI Steam. So now that I gave you the pros, why don't we get started with the cons? So there are really only two cons though, but they're kind of connected together in a way. Now, as I mentioned on the pros though, is that the game, the fact that they got the game, the virtual, virtuals, the Porthouse Studio, they got the game right on the Switch is amazing. And the game still holds up um, even today and all that stuff. And that is still true. That said, however, though, that doesn't mean it doesn't mean it was smooth sailing to bring the game to the Nintendo Switch. And it is clear that there were certainly some unfortunate compromises that have to be made. This is true when we had games like Doom 2016, Doom Eternal, Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, and games like Witcher 3, Wild Hunt make their way over to the Nintendo Switch. So it's pretty clear that there were definitely some clearly some compromises that had to be made to make this game um, run on the Nintendo Switch. And one of the biggest compromises, obviously, is the game is cut down from the 60 frames per second that it ran on the other systems, although there have been some, supposedly, some issues of it dropping to like 50 and all that stuff. But anyway, from 50 frames, 50, from 60 frames per second to 30, and you can really tell the difference um, between the two. Now, Having spent my time with Nier Automata so far, based on my time, I've only, I haven't really seen it dip below 30, at least where, based on where I was in the game or anything like that. It manages to stay, for the majority of the time, at 30 frames per second, and that certainly isn't a bad thing. Still, there are those who would have liked to see this game run at 60 frames per second. Some of that is the Switch's hardware, to be exact. So. It's not bad that they got the game running at 30 frames per second, but it may not be for everyone who preferred to have the game run at, run at a higher frame rate than um, 30 frames per second. And of course, the other thing to point out is that is the visuals in the game. Um, the visuals when the game originally came out back in 2017 was um, okay, but not exactly great. I mean, the enemy designs were great and everything like that, but visually it wasn't exactly the best looking game out there some of it is the resolution back then i think it was at 900p and all that stuff so and as far as it on the switch goes um there's sort of good news and bad news the good news is is that the developers managed to have the game run at 1080p which is certainly great i'm glad that they managed to get the run at 1080p the bad news however is that it's also, you could tell where certain compromises on the visuals were taken though. Um, some of it isn't gonna look as clean as compared to what you would see on like the PS4 or the Xbox One or even the PC version. So the visuals, um, it's passable, but I would say not that great to be exact though. Then again, the main selling point for Nier Automata was always, you know, from the character design, 2B being the most popular one though, to the story and the combat. So the visuals kind of somewhat took a bit of a uh, back seat. So at least on the Switch though, it's passable, but I wouldn't say it's great, but I at least appreciate the fact that they managed to get the game to hit 1080p on the Nintendo Switch, however. Overall, I would say Nier Automata, the end of Johan edition though, is a good port on the Nintendo Switch, even if it's not 100% um, perfect or anything like that. At its best though, the gameplay is still as enjoyable as it was when the game came out back in 2017 though. The music and the voice acting is done well. It really fits the mood on in this game though. And I have to give credit to Virtuals for doing what they could to get the game running on the Nintendo Switch. And it's, and it's pretty amazing how they managed to get the game running. And it, to me, it runs fine on the Nintendo Switch. But at its worst, at the same time, there's no denying the fact that um, there were certainly compromises that had to be made to make this game run on the Nintendo Switch. Clearly, the rest, the frame rate had to drop to 30 frames per second. Some people may or may not be happy with that though. And while the visuals are passable, 
They're not great to be exact though. I mean, yes, I'm happy to see that the game will run at 1080p on my TV though, but when compared to the visuals on, the visuals at least on the Switch are not near the level as what you would see on the PS4 or the Xbox One or even the PC um, for that matter. But in either case though, I'm happy, I still am happy with how the game turned out on the Nintendo Switch um, nevertheless though. I would somewhat put this game on my cautious recommendation though. I would say this. The game is still good. It's, it's still great and everything like that though. But as far as which version to pick up will depend on what your main system of choice is. If you have like a PS4 or a PS5 or an Xbox One or Xbox Series S or X or PC, if you're looking for something that runs at like 1080, it runs at 60 frames per second, or at least gets up to 60 frames per second, and don't mind somewhat of the drop in resolution, then I would say get those versions. But if you're not bothered with the game running at 30 frames per second, or not bothered with the visuals getting somewhat of a downgrade though, then it's okay, it's worth picking up for the Nintendo Switch. Either way, I'm glad this game was brought over to the Nintendo Switch. I still think it's a good game and all. I'm hoping it does well enough that it opens the door to the possibility of Near Replica that was released back in 2021 for um, the PS4 and Xbox One. Um, I'm hoping that game gets ported over to the Nintendo Switch because I really would have liked to see that game be ported over to the um, Nintendo Switch um, as well too. <clears throat> Okay, uh, this concludes my video review of Nier Automata, the end of Johan edition for the Nintendo Switch. And again, these are my opinion. What are yours? What are your thoughts about Nier Automata, the end of Johan edition on the Nintendo Switch? Are you glad they brought this game over to the Nintendo Switch? You don't think they should have brought the game over to the Nintendo Switch at all? Are you okay with it running at 30 frames per second? Or do you think they should have found a way to try to make it run at 60 frames per second though? Are you bothered that the visuals are somewhat of a downgrade compared to what you saw on the PS4, Xbox One, or the PC version though? And do you think they should bring over um, Near Replica, the game, the the game that was that's the prequel to Nier Automata that was released back in 2021. Do you agree with what I said in this video? Do you disagree? Do you have a difference of opinion? Um, as always, sign off on the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And if you do like this video, I hope you hit the like button. I will appreciate it. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do, make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications of any new videos I put up. Also, feel free to share this video if you want to. And feel free to donate to my channel if you like. You can do it through PayPal me or Patreon. Links will be in the description of this video, assuming you're watching this on YouTube. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully that'll be soon. Until then, from Southern California, wish you all a good day then. Bye.